Hello, I'm Anu, I'm a dog spotter, and I watched the film Bulletproof from Todd Chandler. The film is about the legal situation of guns in America and what measures are taken to make schools safer from shooters. I have the opportunity to talk to Todd Chandler via Zoom now. Hi, Mr. Chandler. First of all, I wanted to say Bulletproof is a great movie and it was a lot of fun to watch it. Well, thank you for having me. Yes. I'm excited to talk to you. You're also working as a teacher and so for you this topic is very present. And how did you come to make this film? I overheard some of my own students speaking about a school shooting that had happened um, on the west oh. coast of the United States. And okay. I opened up the class for discussion and they, my students just had a lot of interesting things to say. Um, some of them were afraid, some of them were not. Um, no one was surprised that another sh mass shooting had happened um, in the United States. And then we had a, an international student in class that year who said, this conversation is very American. And I thought, oh, this is interesting. Nice. Um, and so I started doing some research um, and this was back in 2015. Um, okay. I started doing some research and going to, uh, I went to a, a school safety trade show much like the one that is in the film in Las Vegas, but this one, it was somewhere else. I just went to do some research and I thought, oh, this is interesting. There's so much of this, um, this sort of security measures, bulletproof um, products and um, camera systems and metal detectors are, are seen as, are so normal now in yes. some ways that I felt like it was an interesting um, conversation to, to sort of, structure a film around. I didn't thought that everything just started in a conversation at school, so it's surprising. You have been working as a teacher for over 15 years now, and have you made your own experiences? Did there also came some guys who wanted to teach you, like how to use weapons or? I do know that at my school, they have trainings for doing um, lockdown drills but they're optional. And so I've never had to think about that in, in, I've never had to participate in that personally. And, you know, in the previous schools that I've taught in, there's, you know, they're the only things we do are, are fire, are fire drills. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. What do you personally think about this development that schools are getting huge security systems and other precautions? In the film, I really try to, Sort of keep my personal opinions out of the out of the film. I I think I started the film quite surprised that all of these things were happening. And as I got further and further into making the film, it sort of stopped being so surprising. And it felt I said, oh, this actually makes sense. Not not that it makes sense that I think it's a good or a bad thing, but that it feels like a very logical extension of the way that systems work in the United States. I What I learned and felt that was that people were thinking about the problem as guns or the problem as bullets. So then the solution is how do we stop guns or how do we stop bullets? Yes. And when you're asking that question, then the answer is, well, let's make something. Let's, buy, let's create something that people can buy to stop bullets. And I think that was the thing that I was, I found maybe concerning or interesting that, you know, because the problem to me feels so clearly like a deeper cultural problem. And then it's a question of, there, it raises questions around masculinity, what it means and, and capitalism and whiteness in, in the United States. And, and I think those are things that are much more difficult to address and to change. Yes, okay. I also th thought about it and when I talked with my parents about this topic, they also said it's a deeper problem than just guns or bullets. When I watched the film, I imagined my teachers are doing these test alerts or these courses and this idea shocked me. Were you shocked as well when you saw these things first? At first I think I was surprised and then and then I started to sort of locate these sort of practices and in, in the larger cultural context of the United States. And I felt like, oh, right, this, 
you know, this is a country that was founded in, in a violent way. And, you know, and there's, you know, this, this sort of, this is a natural extension. And so again, surprising at first. And then I thought, oh, right. This is maybe not so surprising, but it's still, I find it very interesting to sort of spend time in all of these different places and see how different people are trying to deal with this. And then, and then to sort of put it all together in a film. So it is in conversation that hopefully, you know, um, gives a, a sort of different perspective on the on this situation. Um, when I watched the film, I noted I noticed that l the legal situation on guns in America is barely discussed. Does that uh, represent the current situation in America? Uh, and is it real discussed so rarely? Um, so no, I, I think that the the guns are a very big issue in America and there's a lot of conversation about it. And much of that conversation is, you know, two sides coming at each other and, and, and not having a particularly productive conversation. Okay. Um, and so for me, I felt like, you know, there are, as a filmmaker, I, I thought about what kind of film that I, what I, I wanted to make and that there have been films made about guns and there have been films made about shootings. And, you know, in some ways, people might see those issues at, at the center of the conversation about school violence. And for me, I, my, my instinct is to go away from the center and see what's happening along the edges, because I think that that illuminates a lot more, um, for me at least, it, it's more complicated. And you know, I think having the conversation about guns, you often just get into this stuck position where you know, it's just a fight. And I was less interested in, in doing that or taking a position or saying guns are good, guns are bad, this is good, this or bad, and just and sort of looking at the landscape more broadly and more deeply than sort of just being about guns. But certainly, you know, in the United States, there's there's a, always an ongoing conversation about about guns and gun control and should people be able to have guns and it's in the Constitution and You know, so that that's happening. It just wasn't what I was interested in talking about in this film. So, what do you think about the weapons law in the U.S.? Uh, I mean, I'm not an expert, and you know, on a personal level, uh, I wish there were no guns. But you know, again, I I don't have a fully articulated plan for how to how we could make that happen. Because, yes. You know, I'm a filmmaker. Um, and, and a teacher, but I have my opinions that, yeah, I, I, I am not, um, it's, I would like to see fewer and fewer and fewer guns. And I think there are many countries around the world that the United States could look to for, as an example yes. um, to, make, to make that change. And for us, it's really difficult to imagine why for many Americans owning uh, weapons is so important that they rank it higher than the safety of their own children. That is upsetting. Yes. Yeah, it's hard for me to understand as well. What do you think must happen for a real change to come? The, the questions that are informing all of this kind of violence are really deeply connected to racism and um, masculinity, what it means to be a man in the United States and capitalism. And so those forces that have shaped and informed the culture of the United States since the beginning, um, there needs to be some kind of fundamental shift for anything to change. And so, you know, I don't think that there's a way to do that on a, on a large scale. There's not going to be like all of a sudden the entire country changes, but I think on a sort of local community level, there's a lot of work that could happen and is happening in some places to dismantle some of those systems and to shift perspectives. Um, and I think that work is is yeah. very important. And uh, thank you for this interview. It was nice to get another point of view to this uh, topic because I think the US view on this topic is a different to yeah. Yes. Yes. Certainly. Uh, I wish you all the best for your filmmaking future and also for you as a teacher. Thank you so much. Vielen Dank für alles.